I think this is going to be a pretty good spot. All the rocks. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Krista and today I am out in St. Leon, Indiana, checking out a crazy huge outcrop here. We've got another really neat Ordovician site that just has fossils in pretty much every single rock. Got a nice little brachiopod there. Really everything here is just a giant fossil deathbed. So we're gonna look around, see what we find, and uh, hopefully we'll find some cool stuff. I think actually we found our first, first cool thing. A uh, nice little gastropod shell cast. So this would be kind of the inside swirl of it. So right off the bat. So this is a good piece to kind of highlight what you can find here. You've got a whole bunch of brachiopods. Nice one up here. Here. This here is a plate from a big trilobite called Isotelus, which uh, is the state fossil in Ohio. It's another trilobite. Although we're in Indiana right now. It's similar rocks. And uh, that's a really big chunk back here of an Isotelus fossil. So, uh, wow, that's, that's really big. So for scale, here's my thumb. That's this whole thing in here. I wonder if I can like break this piece off. Maybe I'll wait till I get home to do that. I don't want to ruin it. This is a nice little piece. I really like this little brachiopod. It's really well defined. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna keep that one. I think I can get that little bit of mud off and uh, it should make a nice little display piece. This little guy right here. It's kind of just weathered out. A little damage. Actually, no, that might not be damage. I'll clean him up. I like him. I saw another one up here, too. Oh. Yeah, we got another one. Oh, and half of one. That one's only part, but the part we do have is nice. We'll keep them. This piece here kind of intrigues me. It's uh, almost full. We got a little corner missing of a nice big brachiopod that's been fully weathered out. Here's the little one that's still in its thing. I might leave that one behind. And this is a Another one of those other little brachiopods. It's only a partial. So this piece is obviously too big to take home, but I just want to show you all of these brachiopods. These are just pieces that died. This is probably a higher energy area, so they kind of got moved around, crushed up, because um, they're not really laying just flat. They're all in different orientations. But uh, this whole plate is almost all just, just brachiopods. I am finding a lot of these little loose guys, or almost loose guys. They seem to erode out really well. Oh, we got a little gastropod. That's another little. Uh, cast of a snail shell, basically, from back in the day. I have yet to find any horn corals, or any coral for that matter, or any crinoids, or uh, nautiloids. I'm less likely to find those. I haven't found any trilobites other than plates, and something else I haven't found yet. I don't, I don't know. I found a lot of brachiopods. There's another trilobite plate from an isotelus. Lots of brachiopods and bryozoans. So I'm hoping to find the crinoid layer, because I like the crinoids, they're my favorite. And uh, of course trilobites, because that's, that's what you want to find. Ooh. Nice little loose guy there. I've been trying to be more selective with what I pick up, picking up smaller things because I brought back a ton of big chunks from Maysville 
and I don't have room for a lot more big fossil pieces. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with those. Um, so, I'm trying to go for mostly smalls or like anything really significantly interesting. That's not interesting enough. This is a nice little guy. Ooh. He's got, I think, both halves of this one. It's a nice piece. I could clean them up better. So this is a pretty big Isatila shed in here. So I think that would have been the front part of them. I don't know. I don't know enough about these guys. But uh, they molt. So like any kind of shellfish today, they kind of lose pieces over time as they grow bigger ones to replace them. And uh, so you find a lot of these sheds. But finding a big Isatila would be really cool. I don't think I'm going to though. This one's kind of neat. You can see right where he popped out of there. That's so fun. Boop. It's not a super interesting piece, but eh, I'm gonna keep it. If I don't need it later, I can always take it to the beach or something and leave it, but I think it's really neat to be both halves. Look how teeny tiny he's so cute. Oh, that's my favorite so far. He's a little. Well guys, we found our first horn coral. Let's pick one right in here. And it's in a piece too big to take home. But I know they're here. When I was in Kentucky at the Maysville site a couple weeks ago, or a couple months ago now, geez, um, I didn't find a single horn coral. And these are the same rock units, so I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to find any. So I'm happy to have found one. Alright, I found my first little crinoid of the day, and it's so teeny tiny. But, that I means there's crinoids, and hopefully this is an indication that we're going to find more shortly. This is a really cool piece. I like the darker material it's on, because it really stands out. And it's, like, cracked, but... It's like cracked, but still part of the rock. Like it was almost crushed, um, like during deposition, and not a recent uh, crack. So I think I might take that piece home. <laughs> he stands out to me. I like him. I keep saying I like him. I need to stop saying that. Hey guys, I went to put stuff in my bucket, and I noticed this piece right next to my bucket, and it's got some really interesting things in here. Look at all these lines here. I think those are all lines of crinoids. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't even know what that is. That might just be a brachiopod. But these are like really, really cool. I, uh, I think I'm gonna take that with me. All right, so. I think I'm gonna go down a layer. Where I parked up there, it's kind of been a flat walk across, but the road is dipping down, so there's some older rocks below me. If I go higher up, I might get to some younger rocks up there. So right now, I've kind of been in the same layer the whole time, so I'm hoping to find something besides brachiopods. All right, I'm gonna walk up the road first and see if I can get into some younger rocks, and then we'll go downhill. And get to the older rocks. All right, first thing that's a little different, this piece here, we've got one, two, three, four, five gastropods at least, maybe more. That's, that's really cool. That might be my favorite piece so far. Well, that crinoid one was really cool too. One of those. All right, we're up to some younger rocks and someone else has been here. There's footsteps that are Fairly recent, I'm assuming. We had a lot of rain the past few days. But, uh, that makes me hopeful that this is like a good spot. But it could just be someone else was here. So who knows? So I think I may have found something that I have not found any of yet. And that's this thing here, which the brachiopod underneath but the structure on top of it, I think is a sponge. It might be a bryozoan, 
But uh, it's got a neat pattern. I haven't seen that pattern on anything yet. All right, I moved down section a bit, so I'm in the older rocks. Yeah. Oh, there's our first cephalopod piece. See, I knew we'd find something around here. I think it's a cephalopod. It's really well defined. Here's a nice brachiopod. I'm literally two feet from my car. So, this is a good little spot. Lots of loose guys. So I'm gonna collect some of these and hopefully we'll find some more interesting stuff down here. Just pulled this out of the ground and I don't actually know what this is. If you know, let me know. Maybe a sponge over a brachiopod? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Just found this nice full one. Nice little roly-poly brachiopod. Perfect. I found another brachiopod that's encrusted in either a bryozo one or a sponge. I'm gonna look these up when I get home. The more of them I see, the more I'm thinking it's probably a bryozo one. But either way, it's cool that it's just hanging out on top of that shell. Oh, hey, another horn coral. He's uh, also cracked in half, just like the last one. And also too big to take home. There's my foot. I mean, I could take this one home, but he's not worth taking home, I don't think. Unless there's something cool on the back. And I don't see anything, so I'll leave that one there. I found some modern potato bugs, little roly polies. Kind of the. Uh, the modern version of the trilobites. A little bit different, but uh. Hi, buddies. We'll put them back. Although, this piece was a nice piece. Lots of brachiopod shells, but. I thought there were some crinoids on here. Maybe just the piece next to it. Yeah, put that down for them. And. We got a couple little crinoids in here. Lots of bryozoan hash. But, uh, I really want to find some crinoids, guys. There's just not a lot here today. This rock looks ready to be opened up and see what's inside. Woo! Um, mud. <laughs> I'm sure that there's some cool brachiopods in there, and there's a little crinoid there. But, uh, I can't see what's going on there. This one's kind of cool. That brachiopod in the middle is, like, almost eroded out. But, uh, this is neat. Another horn coral down in here. That's not going home with me, though. That's on a big rock. But that's horn coral number three. All three of which, too big to take. So I think I finally found a horn coral that I can take home. I think that's small enough. What do you think? And there's part of a horn coral in here. That's the bottom bit. That would have been oriented like that. But, uh, yeah. Two little horn coral bits right together. Maybe there'll be more. I see another horn coral down here. All right. There. Look at that one. That's nice. This looks like it's going to be a perfect little guy. Look at that. These are my favorite. They're so weird. Stuff down here seems more weathered. Maybe it's just a difference in chemical composition in the limestone or just because it's lower down you get more water from runoff and stuff. But, uh, yeah. This seems like a good spot to find some smalls. Oh, there's one. Another one of these little rolly guys. 
These are so nice. These have been kind of the find of the day. I found a bunch of them, all in nice shape. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what else we can find on the Scrabble. Hmm. This was a neat little, little brachio pad. I can't remember the name of this kind, but I'll uh, I'll leave a leave the words of what it is in the video. That's a really big brachiopod. That's gonna stay here, but that's kind of cool. Here's another similar one. The uh, internal side of it. Ouch. More potato bugs. Let them have their home back. I didn't know we had cactus in Indiana, but uh, there's a little trampled guy right here. All right guys, I am gonna head out. I didn't find everything I wanted to find here today, but that's all right. I found lots of nice brachiopods, a couple crinoids, um, but some cool pieces overall. I was hoping to find at least one trilobite and more crinoids than I did, but uh, that's all right. If you uh, do come out here yourself, make sure to be mindful of the traffic, because I mean, it's a pretty busy road, but there's plenty of space to pull off and uh, collect safely. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.